friends welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat India in this video you are going to see management of a white hard cataract the main incision has been placed at a selected site this is a 2.8 millimeter keratome the incision is on the posterior aspect of the limbus this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and this is another side port on the right side of the incision now a big air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber Tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is then injected in the anterior chamber over the anterior capsule the dye has not stained an area inferiorly here I go through the side port and stain that area so all the areas of the anterior capsule must be stained with the dye the dye is immediately washed out we don't have to wait for a long time and we can see that the capsule has stained very nicely if we stain under air the staining is immediate the dye is not diluted by aqueous and the staining is very nice and immediate viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber this is SPMC and now capsulorexis is to be done here I go and size the anterior capsule with a 26 case band needle and I find that there is no leakage of any oily fluid so the intralenticular pressure is not raised and I can do an adequate sized large rexis at on go the cataract is hard and my aim is to do a rexis of about 6 mm and in this case I have been able to achieve that rexis at on go that's it the axis is done now hydro dissection we cannot see the fluid wave going to the other side what we can just observe is that the nucleus gets lifted off a bit go to the other side tap the nucleus once or twice and then do a little hydro on the other side also so hydro is done at multiple points small helicots of fluid is injected and the nucleus is rotated then and now visco is again injected and now is the time to go in and here I go I move some superficial lens matter and I can see a brown hard nucleus when the cataract appears like that we can be almost sure that the lens fibers are interdigitating and leathery and it is very hard to separate the pieces so this is submarine chop and here I go I've been able to get a very good crack and now I rotate the nucleus 180 degree remove these air bubbles along this crack I want to do I, I do a bit of sculpting go to a deeper plane and then I try to separate these two heminuclei yes there has been complete separation of the two heminuclei and I now this is I'm trying to chop each heminucleus into into three fragments but I just got partial cracks and here it is this is the endonucleus 
would remove the endonucleus. Rotate it, go to these other hemineucleus and this is the first crack. I mean FICO2 mode from the very beginning, ultrasonic power is 80%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. this is another crack and now I tilt this portion and apply some power here and the two pieces get separated so this hemineucleus has been nicely divided into three pieces and each nuclear piece as you see, this is such a long, sharp apex. So what I do is I attack from the apex and remove this portion of the nucleus. And then I manage the other part. And now the other hemineucleus, this portion, gave me a tough time. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tilt it and get into the inner edge, the lower edge of this spot. But I could not get it. So what I do is I come out, inject some viscoelastic substance beneath this hemineucleus and push the posterior capsule towards the vitreous cavity and then I take the chopper in my right hand and a Sinsky hook in my left hand. And I try to separate these and I find that it is difficult. So here it is. The chopper is in my right hand and it is going behind this hemineucleus and lifting it up and here it is the Sinsky hook goes through the side port and just with little maneuver I could separate the pieces. So this hemineucleus has been totally divided into three pieces. Now I go into the anterior chamber again and apply ultrasonic power here and remove this piece, the middle piece. In hard cataracts, when we take adequate precautions, posterior capsular rent is not very common because we are keeping our intuition alert all the time. We are keeping the antechamber formed. We take care of stability of the anterior chamber. All these doesn't cause piscirent frequently. This is the management of the epinucleus. Now see what has happened. The people has become small a bit and iris has prolapsed out through the side port. So what you do at this time is you remove the handpiece first send the pupillary margin in the anterior chamber and then you remove the chopper. So whenever iris prolapses through the sideboard, you remove the handpiece first. The intraocular pressure will reduce a bit. The iris will go 
into the entire chamber and then you remove the chopper now here I am cleaning whatever little cortical matter is there with the help of this bimanual IA I mean IA to mode with very little vacuum and floor it this is actually capsular polish mode but I am able to remove the lens fibers the posterior capsule has got some fibrous tissue at the center we cannot polish that out if necessary we have to do ear glazer capsulotomy later on and now after injecting viscoelastic substance uh, hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag the lens has been implanted under viscoelastic substance because iris was already blocked prolapsing out through the side foot and if we try to implant a lens under irrigation the iris will prolapse again I didn't want that now the viscoelastic substance is cleaned thoroughly first the viscoelastic substance is irrigated out for some time then by bimanual irrigation aspiration are used simultaneously and is nicely cleaned the antechamber is then finally lava after hydrating the side ports and after we are very sure that the there is no visco in the entry chamber we form the entry chamber nicely with the help of a simco cannula and conclude the case we must check whether there is any leakage from any side you can see that the main wound is clear there is no wound burn thank you very much for watching hope this video will inspire you to do hard cataracts